Hey, this is Nick. Welcome to The Loft at Home. Join me today for a 45 minute sweaty strength based workout. Today we're going to do a 45 minute workout. It's based off strength today, so we're going to do a lot of low cadence efforts with some big strength and power intervals. Uh, to get things started, we're going to start with just a three minute warm up. So I'll get you on an easy gear. We'll take three minutes here, nice and easy, and I'll go through a bit of the workout structure for you today. So starting with this three minutes, we're going to go into some cadence builds just to wake up those legs a little bit. Get your body moving, get that heart rate up. We're gonna do two sets, that's gonna be two minutes each with a 30 second break in between them. From there, we're gonna go into a couple high-low intervals. Those high-low intervals are gonna be high or heavy gearing, okay? So that cadence is gonna be down nice and low. We're gonna go with high power. Then we're gonna drop down into some easy recovery periods. You're gonna be one minute on, 30 seconds off for each of these. We're then going to go to some three-step intervals. On those three-step intervals, we're going to go low cadence in the saddle. Then we're going to pop out, work on some out-of-saddle climbing. We're then going to take a one-minute break. We're going to repeat stage one, repeat stage two, hit a cool down, quick stretch, and you're done. Nice 45-minute workout with those big power intervals. We got just under two minutes here. Keep spinning things out. Take it nice and easy here. While we're relaxing, try and drop those shoulders down just a little bit. Relax those traps, those muscles around the back of the neck. Take a nice deep breath in, try and be deep into that diaphragm, filling that low belly breath. And as you breathe out, drop those shoulders down just a little bit. Try and keep them relaxed, but still just a little bit of firmness. Remember, that core is creating a little bit of tension between your upper and your lower body to keep you stable in the saddle. It's that lightly braced core, that's how we'll refer to it. It's keeping your hips nice and level. So you're not bouncing up and down when you're pedaling, especially if you get to those heavier efforts. You may feel like you want to bounce. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep it nice and steady, firmly in the saddle as we go. All right, take another deep breath in here. Fill the diaphragm, drop those shoulders. On the next breath in, lengthen the spine up nice and tall. Drop those shoulders down again here. All right, give it a couple of those nice deep, steady breaths here. It's gonna take a little bit of tension off. Nice and controlled power here. All right, 30 seconds left. We're gonna go into our first cadence build set. So. Right now, you should be around 80 to 90 RPM. In our first cadence build, it's going to be 15 seconds per stage. We're going to start with 90, 100, 110, and 120. 15 seconds per stage. We have 10 seconds here, and we're going to get it started. So, from here, first one, we're just going to add a tiny bit of tension in three, two, and take it up one gear, or just add a little bit of resistance. Bring it all the way up to 90 RPM. So we're not dipping down below anymore. These are short stages. Next up, we're gonna take the 100 RPM. Two, and 100. Bring that cadence up just a little bit. Keep those hips in the saddle, nice and low in those shoulders. Relax those traps. They're not doing any of the work here today. Do the steady 100. Three, two, and take it up to 110. Give it just a little more speed. Waking up those legs. There we go, getting a little speed in those legs before we slow them down on those climbs. Three, two, and take it up again here. 120, fast legs, here we go. Keeping that cadence up. Spin those legs up, keep them in, under control. If 120 is too fast for you, bring it down, keep it at 110, and 90. Bring it right back down, we're gonna do two rounds before we take a break. Here we go, 90 RPM. Control that breath as we're in that lower cadence set. You got three, two, and 100. Pick it up. Cause 
And nice and controlled effort here. You got four, three, two. And take it up to 110. Keeping that cadence up, nice and strong. Fast legs here. Remember, breathing deep into that core. Relax those shoulders. We got one more high cadence, then we're on our recovery in three, two, and 120. Here we go. After this, you're gonna take a 30 second rest. In five, four, three, two, and back that resistance off. 30 seconds off, and then we'll do our second two minute set here. All right. Nice and steady. Spin those legs out. If you need some water, give you a quick drink. 15 to go here. Whew. It's a quick way to warm up, getting those high cane sets right from the beginning. All right, we're gonna add our tension back in. 90 RPM to start in three, two, and on we go. There we go. 90 RPM, nice and controlled, steady pace. Remember to keep that core brace, breathing deep into that diaphragm so your hips aren't rocking side to side. Two, and 100. Picking it up just a little bit. Get a little bit of speed here. Drop those shoulders. Oh yeah. Waking it up, waking it up. From 100, we next have 110 and three, two, and 110, pick it up. Get a little more speed in there, turn those legs over. Oh yeah, that heart rate is climbing. It's exactly what we want. Keep it at 110, you got three, two, and take it up to 120. Here we go, this is the top here. And we're gonna go through one more time. Three, two, keep that gear on, back down 90 RPM. Get that heart rate, that breath under control, relax. Get back down in that low cadence zone again. Down at 90, building back up. Two, and 100. Just a light build, just a little bit of speed here. There we go, this is the good stuff. This is what we like, three, two, and 110. Take it up again. We got one more on here. Then we'll take our next recovery after the 120. In five, four, three, two, and 120. We're up at the top. Here we go, spin those legs up, turn them over, keep that core nice and strong, hips nice and level, relax the shoulders down. You got three, two, and rest, 30 seconds off. All right, nice and easy here, take it down. Woo. All right, no rest for the wicked. We're getting right into our one minute climb in the saddle. One is about a seven out of 10 in terms of intensity for RPE. We got 10 seconds to go here. I want your cadence low, 70 to 80 RPM. Here we go, we're going in three, two, and on we go. Turn those gears on, get a nice heavy gear. Feel those legs slowing down the resistance on your bike feels like you're pushing through mud. It's pulling you back. Here we go, that strong, low cadence effort. It's not a max effort yet, not on this climb. We're just getting into it, waking up those quads. We got four rounds here, one minute on, with 30 second recoveries. We got 30 seconds to go here. Here we go, power through it, power into that climb. Oh, feels good. Low cadence. We're gonna give it a little more tension. You know what? I'm feeling good today. How about you? 15 seconds. Oh yeah. Feel that burn. Here we go. Power forward. Deep breath into that diaphragm. Every time you breathe in, lengthen. Drop the shoulders. Three, two, and off for 30. 30 seconds of active rest. It's a light active rest. It's not a true rest, you're not stopping, you're not getting off the bike. You're still pedaling. You need to grab a sip of water. Now's a great time. All right, 10 seconds to go. 
We're on to our next 60 second effort. Remember this is a short, fast, high intensity class. Get it ready, heavy gear, three, two, and on we go. Back in that heavy gear, get that kins down. Try and push it down to that 70 to 80 zone. Ooh, that deep burn. Remember this is a strength based workout today. Ooh, look at that sweat drip. There we go. You know it's a good workout when. Right. Keep that good posture, good form, under control. Remember, every time you breathe in, lengthen that spine. Try not to arch and collapse through the spine. Lengthen both from the hips, those stable hips. Because remember, that core is still braced. Three are power forward. And then every breath out, the shoulders drop down away from the ears. No we go. 10 seconds here. Push through those legs. Four, three, two, and rest. Back down to that active recovery. Remember, active recovery. Don't stop now. The cadence can come back up around 80 to 90 RPM. Try not to go too much higher than that. And definitely not lower. Save the low cadence for the real work. Big breaths, sip of water. We've got a few seconds left. Next one is in five, four, three, two, and on we go. Low cadence climb. This is three of four. We've got one more after this. Here we go. Big strong efforts here. Push those legs. Dig right into it. Dig right in. Here we go. Breathing deep. Power forward. All right. Keep it below 80 RPM. Lengthen that spine every breath in. Drop the shoulders every breath out. Feels good to start hard right from the beginning, right? Yeah. Make that sweat pour. 20 seconds. We're on it. We're on it. Woo. Remember, you can also drink water. In the middle of the set, if you need, just don't let that cadence change. Not for a moment. Four, three, two, and active rest. Here we go. Keep the legs spinning. We have one more to go. Uno más. Julia. Spin the legs out. Boom. I'm taking a sip. When you're sweating like this, you gotta make sure you stay hydrated. All right, 10 seconds. It's also a good mental break. Here we go, three, two, and back on we go. Climb it up, low cadence, 70 to 80. For a nice heavy over gear effort. So the gear is heavier than what we would need if we were on like a steady, smooth, flat effort. That's why we're pushing that lower cadence. Also getting some strength. Here we go. 30 seconds. Deep breath in, lengthen. Deep breath out. Drop the shoulders. Here we go. Power right up into it, 15 more seconds. The last one on this set. Here we go. Four, three, two, and 30 seconds. Active recovery. Nice and steady. Whew. All right. Next time we get into it, we're gonna go 60 seconds in the saddle, 30 seconds out of the saddle. You have a nice long recovery here. Here we go. One minute off. Nice and steady on that long recovery. Drink that water as much as you need. There. Take it down a little bit. All right, so 
drink some water, drop those shoulders. We've just over 30 seconds left here. Like I said, the next effort we're gonna do, we're gonna start in the saddle, that same intensity we were just doing. Then, for 30 seconds, we're gonna crank on a little more intensity. We're gonna keep that cadence low, maybe lower, 65 to 75. You're gonna hop up out of saddle, you're gonna grind out 30. Then you get the same 30 seconds rest. So all we're doing is adding in more work. Here we go, that's what you're here for. Here we go, same one minute effort in three, two, and add it in. Here we go, one minute down here, 70 to 80. Strong, controlled effort here. Drop those shoulders right into it. We got another four sets here. Put the extra 30 second out of the saddle effort. It's gonna be a seven and a half minute set until you get your next long rest. Thirty seconds. Get that big power in that low cadence effort. Oh, I'm a little high. I'm 85. Add in some, some effort, some intensity, and drop the cadence. There we go. Back at 80. Just in time. Remember, as you stand it up, make it a little harder. Lower cadence in three, two, and up. 30 seconds up top here. 65 to 75. Make it hurt just a little more than that seated effort did. Just a little more sweat. Woo. Feeling good today. Here we go. Why not give it a little more? Why not? Here we go, 10 seconds. Then we have a 30 second rest. Same 30 second active rest. Let's do the last round. Four, three, two, and sit it down. Flatten out that road. Nice and easy. Oh yeah. Keep those legs spinning. 80 to 90 RPM. 95 is fine. I'm holding 91. Feels comfortable to me. Okay. Whew. That's a quick little bonus move for you. It's actually a one minute rest. You're welcome. I wanted to give you 30, but you get another 30. Lucky you. Lucky you. All right. Nice and controlled pace here. In those legs, you got 20 more seconds here. Then we're going right back. Remember, starting in the saddle, low cadence, high gear. Make it hurt. 70 to 80 RPM. And I want that 70 to 80 to hurt. It's not a cruise here. Four, three, two, and take it on. Oh yeah. Get that burn. Get that burn. It's always a to start the interval. And you realize you didn't drink water on the rest. Man, life's hard. Here we go. 70 to 80, keep it controlled here. It's only 60 seconds in the saddle. Anyone can do 60 seconds. You can do 60 seconds. 30 to go, halfway done. Keep that cadence low, keep it controlled. Remember, every breath out, drop those shoulders down. Those traps don't need to be doing anything. This is a bike workout, not a trap workout. In seconds. Next out of saddle. Remember, we're adding in the intensity. In four, three, two, pick it up. It's all you. 30 up here. 65 to 75 RPM. Ooh, yeah. Feel that burn. 15 more seconds. And you get that 60 second rest again. This is the doctor order. Four, three, two, and active rest. Sit it down. One minute here. Oh, yeah. All right. Spin it on out. Nice and steady. Woo, that sweat is dripping. We must be doing some good work today. Oh, it's 
keep me sweating. Hydrate. Whew. 30 seconds. Everything that's worth doing takes a little hard work. All right. Relax those shoulders. Keep that nice deep breath in. Lengthen as you breathe in. Relax, breathe out. <laughs> Cut short on rest, 10 seconds. Here we go. We'll go down. The next set, the last one in three, two, and on we go in the saddle. Start it off nice and strong. Remember, this is about a seven out of 10 in terms of your maximum effort. We still have quite a bit left in the tank. If you had to sprint from here, you could do it. But it's not easy. It's never supposed to be easy. That's why we do this. 30 seconds. We're gonna challenge ourselves every day. Every day. Every breath out, drop those shoulders. Every breath in, lengthen. Brace that core. Strong, stable core. That strong steel foundation that lets you push that power, especially when we're standing. Here we go. Which is coming up in four, three, two, and up. Here we go. Remember, this should be about an eight out of ten. Slightly more difficult. The last time up on this set. 10 seconds. Then we have a nice long recovery. In three, two, and sit it down. One minute, active rest. Woo. All right. Ah. Drink up that water. Soak up the long recovery while you have it. Up those legs. Take the time for a sip. In a 45 to one hour set like this, you should be going through one full bottle of water here. Especially these high intensity sets. You should be feeling like you need that hydration all the way through. This is an easy ride? Maybe not. But today, it's not an easy ride. Not at all. <sighs> all right. So we're gonna go into our light recovery after this. So you take another gear down, and one minute here of light rest. That was your active rest. This is your light rest. At this point, if you wanna hop off and give it a quick stretch. Feel free. This one minute is for you. If you need to refill or get a water bottle. Now would be a good time to sprint. You got just under 45 seconds to go. <sighs> All right. Once again, get that breathing under control. Deep breath in. And relax and calming breath out. Calming that central nervous system. Trying to flush all of those metabolites that we've built up through these high intensity efforts. Because we're getting right back into it. In about 15 seconds. We're gonna start with that same interval we started on, 60 on, 30 off. This time though, I want you pushing it a little heavier. Eight out of 10 in terms of intensity. Eight out of 10 in three, two, and here we go. It's only one minute, under 80 RPM, 70 to 80. But I want this 70 to 80 to be harder than the first time. You're working a little harder. Keep that cadence in that zone. Maybe it's so heavy that you can only do 70. Maybe you're down to 65, that's fine. As long as you're in that low cadence, that's all I care about. That's all we need today, 30 more seconds. Then we get 30 of active recovery. And with active recovery when we're in the set. We go nice and strong. Feel that burn. Breath out, relax your shoulders. 10 seconds. 
Oh yeah. New leg turn. Now we're here. Four, three, two, and active rest. Here we go. Keep it up about 90 RPM. Spin the legs out. So my threshold is about 360 watts. My active rest is about 200. So try and keep it. It's not a super easy rest. Remember, it's an active, active recovery. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and back on in the saddle. Second low effort, if you're using power, be at or above your threshold. If you lower the cadence, it'll feel harder than a normal threshold effort. That's only for driving that cadence down so low. Here we go. 30 seconds here. This is two out of four efforts here. Two out of four. Those legs. 70 to 80 RPM. Try not to drive too much above or below that range. Keep it strong. Oh yeah. Some good stuff. Three, two, and active recovery. Active. Here we go. Easier. Not easy. Maybe five out of ten. In terms of intensity, your RPE, or about 55 to 60% of your threshold if you need that. Time to go. Round three. Four, three, two, and on we go. Up we go, up we go. I was a little overzealous. There we go. Don't worry about making those micro adjustments. If you go too hard off the front, you'll never get back in the pack. Here we go. Thirty more here. Nice and strong. Relax those shoulders. Brace that core. We're strong. Whew. Maybe we feel invincible today. Maybe we don't. Either way, we stick to the program and we don't give up. 10 seconds. Three, two, and 30 off. Active rest, still active. Not a true recovery, not yet. Whew. All right. Keep it controlled here. Oh, water. Yeah. Here we go. Four, four. One, three, two, and take it right back in. In the saddle, 70 to 80. Eight out of 10 in that intensity. We're getting high intensity here. Feel that fatigue setting in. Right from the beginning, you feel those legs dragging behind you. Whew. Don't let them hold you back though. You tell those legs, you say, what did Yenzi say? He said, shut up legs. And you tell your legs, shut up legs. And they'll do it, they'll shut up. Keep powering, keep powering. Oh, I'm over cadence, I'm over cadence. Heavy gear, drive that cadence back down. There we go. 15 seconds, then 30 of active rest before our recovery. Four, three, two, and active rest. 30 here. It's easier. Remember, five out of 10 intensity. And then in about 15 seconds, We'll go down to three or four out of 10 for that recovery. Eight 
in four, three, two, and easy rest. All right. Whew. Now, once again, on this 60 second rest, if you feel like you need to hop off, take a quick stretch, you do what you gotta do. You have 45 seconds to go here, and then we're getting right back into it. We'll be hitting our 60 seconds in the saddle, 30 seconds out of the saddle, 60 seconds off, another three rounds in the saddle. We're going where we just were, eight out of 10. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. When you stand up, nine out of 10 in terms of intensity, because we're doing three of these, you won't hurt by the last one. You may not make it through. You may not feel like you'll make it through, but you will make it through. Here we go, 10 seconds to go. In the saddle is where we're starting. Remember, 70 to 80 RPM. Three, two, and up we go. Crank that intensity where we just were. Eight out of 10. It hurts, it burns, but you don't give up. You just forget the pain, because shut up legs. They don't know what real pain is. They don't even know, not yet. Not yet. Go power up, push through. It's only three sets. We need three. Especially with 60 second recoveries. Active recovery. Remember when we stand it up, gears go up, cadence goes down. 65 to 75 when we stand in 10. Four, three, two, and up. Let that cadence dip just a little bit. Woo. Takes a little more air when you're up here. Power through it. All the way, all the way. 10 seconds. Ah oh, yeah, we love it, we love it. Four, three, two, and sit. Active recovery, 60. Go. Well, we're still working on the active recovery. It's just easier. Deep breaths. We need that oxygen. We need that O2. We need that H2O. Burn, lactate, burn. 30 seconds. We've already done one out of three. That means two more. It's not bad. I mean, you might be feeling bad. I don't. Put that past in the past. Focus on now. Don't worry about the pain you've been going through. Focus on the now. Here we go. Next effort in the saddle. In three, two, and on we go. Keep it in the saddle. Low cadence. Oh yeah. Burn. Burn, baby. This is how we do it. This is where greatness is made. These last two sets. These are the ones where it counts. These are the ones where you want to give up. And if you do, you've lost. So don't give up. Make the gains. Improve your fitness. Finish these last two sets. These are the ones where it really counts. Everything else, junk miles. You're building right here, right now. You got 20 more. That goes for me as well. Don't you worry. I'm struggling with you. Next effort up. Three, two, and stand it up. Add it on in there. Oh yeah. Burn. Burn. Yeah, give it a little more. Oh yeah. You know what you want. And you want more. You want to stand up and watch the world burn your world. 
four, three, two, active rest. Breathe down. You're still working. One more. That's all it takes. One more. You're almost done. Cheers to one more. There we go. Rally the troops. Give them a couple slaps. Wake them up, they're ready. They want this last set. They want it more than they wanted anything else in the world. You're gonna eat this set alive. But it's okay. It's a, it's a fruit, it's an apple. If you wanna eat these things alive, get the most flavor. It's sweet. 10 seconds. All right. In the set. We're going four. Three, two, powered up. Here we go. This is the last time you gotta do this. This is the last time we're gonna make you go through this. After that, you're free. You're a free person again. In the words of Maximus Decimus Meridius, is this not what you came for? Is this not what you came for? Paraphrased, he said entertain. 30 seconds. Ha. We're in it. In it to win. In it to win. Well, that's 85. I'm winning too much. Three, two, and stand it up. Give it a little more. Ah, burn. Burn those matches. What do you got left? Oh yeah. Feel like you're slowing down? Just don't. Go faster. Keep going. Mind over muscle. 10, almost there. One minute active after this. Four. Three, two, one minute active. It's not a rest yet. It's not true recovery. Keep turning, keep burning. We're going for that metabolic burn here. Don't let yourself off too easy. Not yet, not today. After this, 30 seconds, we're gonna go into our true cool down, which will be, yes, an easy, light rest, true recovery in 20 seconds. Until then though, keep turning over. We're still going. We're at about 50 to 60% of the threshold, five out of 10, four and a half, five out of 10 for intensity. Four, three, two, Take one minute. Woo. That's we're in our five minute cool down. Woo. All right. Spin those legs out. Nice and easy. One minute here. Then we'll be in our cool down stretch. Take this one minute just to spin it on out. Keep those legs turning. Keep a little bit of resistance on here. Not too much. Your legs should still feel something behind them. Cheers to finishing. If you haven't already, dummy that bottle. Get it in you. All right. Nice and relaxing. We're gonna take it down again. And this time, you're gonna have minimal tension behind your legs. In four, three, two, and down, and from this point, if you want to start stretching, feel free to start stretching. Uh, if not, we'll take another minute up here just to spin the legs out on a very light. There's almost no resistance behind me. I'm under 100 watts here right now. Just keep me in nice and controlled. Focus on deep breaths. Maybe lengthen out. Take it 
deep breath, use your abdomen, relax down, deep breath, relax the shoulders. While we're spinning those legs, you take your hands, you're gonna interlace your fingers behind your back, and you're gonna press your palms away from you. So you're gonna rotate, press away, and just open up that chest just a little bit here. Stay up nice and tall. Give it a couple breaths up here. And now we'll take the left arm, cross it in front of the chest. Remember, keep that shoulder down. Don't bring that shoulder up to your ear. Keep it down, pull it across. Same idea here. Deep breath in, lengthen. And on that breath out, deepen that stretch. Deep breath in. And on the breath out, deepen that stretch. One more on this side. Relax. Right arm across, deep breath in, lengthen, and breath out, stretch. Deep breath in, and relax. We'll do one more on the right side. Deep breath in, up, and And relax. We'll slow those pedals down. We'll start stretching out those legs a little bit here. So we'll bring our feet. Parallel to the floor, so one forward, one back. Stand up in those pedals. Drop those heels down, straighten the legs. And from there, shoot those hips back as far as you can. Just hold up your handlebars, give yourself some stability. Really keep that back nice and long as you can. You're not arching your spine. Keeping it long, you can think of pulling your chest up a little bit. Let those heels sink down, drop, straighten those legs. We're really focusing on the back of the hamstrings and those calves are really where you should be feeling it. Letting those heels drop down nice and low. And switch lead legs here. Opposite foot forward again. Straighten the legs, drop the heels. Shoot those hips back as far back as you can. Lengthen out, keep that back nice and flat and long. Deep breath here. Every breath out, try and soak a little bit deeper into that stretch, relaxing into it. it off, we'll do some hip flexors. You can either stay on the bike or hop off, or it doesn't really matter. All that we gotta do is standing, you can hold the bike for balance. Seated, stay up nice and tall, draw that heel to the glute and lengthen out. I'll hop off the bike here and give you a profile view so you can see what we're going for. So we're going for these stretches here. You really want that knee to be below the hip or back but we don't want to be shooting our hips out and our chest back. So we really want that knee below and then slightly tugging in, but keeping that core braced so you're not shooting your hips out, you're not overarching your lumbar spine. So it's easier when you're sitting on the bike, you control your hips a little bit better, but seated or standing, keep that core nice and stable. And relax that first leg and we'll switch legs. So. Heel the glute up nice and tall, lengthen, and light stretch. Deep breath in, relax. Draw that knee back just a little bit. So the active pulling is coming from your hand. Trying to keep that knee and hip nice and relaxed. Core brace. That's it, that whole front of your quad area across the hip. And bring it down. All right, finish it off with a quick sip of water if you haven't finished it already. Other than that, great job, and you're done for the day. Hit the showers and have a snack. Take care. All right, great workout. If you want to uh, hit me up, anything swim, bike, run related, feel free to send me a DM or throw me an email. You can hit me up on TriNerds or Instagram, Scenic Run. That's it.